Oh, and there it goes, AGRX. In this video, I wanna talk about why I had such low confidence in AGRX as opposed to EVFM and KZR both of which tickers are performing much worse than AGRX, which right now is just on a really nice front side trend and I'm done trading it. I did trade a little bit later today till about 10.30, but my confidence was just so low on this ticker and I think it's gonna be a really good one to review with you guys. So let's switch over to the trading screen right now and uh, see how this one's performing because look at this volume, 2 million shares being traded per minute um, many times over that. So that's really nice. On the daily, yeah, this ticker is rough, but hey, what ticker do we not trade? that doesn't have a horrible, horrible daily uh, chart. I mean, it's pretty rare that, uh, especially lately, and we've been seeing some really bad daily charts. So yeah, really rough um, overall daily pattern here. Let's go into it daily, boom, boom, boom. You can see a big sell off here. Pharmaceutical company, 4.5 million shares outstanding, 12 million market cap, so boom. Hits all, I feel like I'm saying boom a lot right now. It hit, it's it's checking off all the boxes that we're looking for. And if you wanna know more about the boxes I'm talking about, go to tradejournal.co forward slash start and you'll see my checklist, my pre-market checklist and gap and go uh, checklist there. So I like that, really nice stats. Looks like it's trending on macro news. It is riding the Roe v. Wade uh, discussion, which we won't dive into this video, but it looks like as a pharmaceutical, it's running um, on that kind of catalyst. Maybe they sell some sort of pills or something like that. Now let's dive and look at this quickly here, high relative volume, so that's really nice. Um, on the daily. Now let's go to the five minute and look at this one a little bit more. We traded this one yesterday really, really quickly here. I had a bit of a red trade. This was kind of annoying red trade. This was actually a bigger red trade. Um, and then today, again, I had a small winner here and then my first trade on it was a pretty decent sized loss. And that put me red on the day and I've been pretty much digging myself out of the hole ever since. And I think every time I take a big red trade on a ticker, it usually reduces my confidence, not to mention it was my second trade on this one, or actually technically my third, because I had this little, um, little scratch trade right here, and um, it was a big red one. Not as big as the one before, but you know, equally, you know, I was up 300 and then I was down like 300 and I was like, okay, let's go. Um, you know, so that kind of changed my whole entire mindset a little bit. And just before we talk about AGRX or continue to talk about this ticker in my trades, this is what I'm up on today. I'm up $92 today. Hoorah, I mean, very small scratch day, but um, it was it was just kind of an exhausting day. Um, you can see my stats here overall, not really good, 76% uh, winners, which actually is okay, but it's only because I took so many so many scratch hits. I was, I was risking a lot to make a small amount of money is what it felt like all day. I was not trading very well. You can see my average win here is very high, I mean very low, compared to my average um, loss, which I know it's really small on the screen right now. Let me zoom in a little bit. Hopefully that's a bit better. So yeah, I was just risking a lot. Um, so I really needed a high win ratio to make a bit of money today. And now usually this is like one to one, and then my win ratio is like, on average, it's like 67%. So that gives you a little bit more perspective. On average, yeah, I was taking a bit more winners today, but that's because I was just taking quick profits because I was in the wrong state of mind. I just wasn't really that focused. And you'll see, um, well, I don't even know if I'd wanna say focused. I was just um, very nervous today, that's for sure. What's on this page? Insights, um, yeah, okay, so here's my running PL. So I think tomorrow, no, actually Thursday's the last day of the month, but look at this. I was up today about 300 and then I was down about 220. Okay, I thought it was down 300, but yeah, 220. And then I crawled out back out of the hole, but these were all tiny, tiny winners. And that's basically why my winning ratio was so high today, but my average win was just so, so low percentage wise uh, because I just had very little confidence in a, um, AGRX. And you can see I'm still red on this ticker um, because of that loser. And, and here it is. So this ticker opened up and then flushed right down. I pretty much rode um, half of this flush. Luckily, not much more. And luckily, my size is only 3,000 shares. Um, you know, I could have been trading this five, 6,000 shares easy, and that would have been a really big loser. And then it really pops up again here, makes a perfect, perfect bull flag here, here, and here. And I don't trade any of it. I actually trade a little bit of this one, but you know, I sell with two cents. You know, pops up a little bit, and I'm out, right? So you could just see I'm, I'm uh, nervous, Nancy. We haven't brought nervous Nancy back on the channel in a long time, but that's what I was doing today. I was nervous, Nancy, and I could just not trade. So sometimes, and it wasn't. And I guess my point is here, it wasn't necessarily the ticker it is a little bit flushy but sometimes when you get caught in one of those situations you just get nervous your confidence gets wrecked 
and sometimes I can bounce back to that from that really quickly. Like um, I had a huge, huge loss day um, not too long ago, and I was able to bounce back from that really fast. So let's see here. I had a $2,000 green day, and just two days before that, I had my max loser. So sometimes I'm able to ba bounce back very quickly. Sometimes I can even do it intraday where I just take a big loser. I'm like, whatever, it doesn't matter. I keep trading, boom, and go back. Um, go back to normal like even right here you can see big 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 sell off and then i get back to former highs today i just wasn't really able to do that and i just want to zoom in on agrx a little bit more to see maybe there was a reason for that well we had a flush over here and i know yesterday i got stuck in a flush on this ticker so that definitely psychologically messed me up a little bit um but then the rest was pretty much clear uh blue skies i mean it was pretty nice how this ticker was moving and behaving uh, green volume was really really high uh high so I'm just kind of wondering, you know, does this ever happen to you guys where you guys have a moment where, you know, you just totally blow your confidence and you're having a hard time getting back? Or can you just take a step back and think, you know, AGRX, look at this ticker, it's actually performing pretty nicely. I need to start getting aggressive on this ticker. Do you just sometimes have to take a step back or do you just get right back in the saddle? I know for me, it's always a little bit different. I don't know if there's a perfect answer to it yet, um, but I will definitely be reading your guys' comments. So actually scrolling over here, this is when I more or less well, was done for the day, right here in this area, and I could have made killing in this area if I just had my confidence um, to normal this was a 45% move I feel like I could have been edging into these moves uh, much nicer you know you never know what you would have done um, but that's how I feel right now and then I was going ahead getting ready for the recap video importing my trade so on and so forth and then this move happened right here big five minute breakout one minute pullback and I was like this is what I was waiting for I have to trade this so I ended up trading it but look at this my first share shares um, I went along with like a thousand but only got a hundred fill popped up here I closed it um, there was a perfect one minute pullback, ran 15%. Uh, where was I? I was scalping here a little bit, uh, made like one set here, one cent here. So this was just embarrassing. And at this point, I realized, uh-oh, I, I can't trade. At this point, I'm trading my PL. I know I'm green on the day and I just can't take any risk. Um, and you could just see this slow climb here to the front side. And then you know what could easily happen is just then you get stuck in that flush and you just give it all back in one trade. I felt like that was coming. And when I felt it coming, I was like, I got to stop trading right here. Uh, sometimes it's really nice as you become a more experienced trader, you start trading in anticipation of things happening. Like, oh, I know that I'm going to feel X if I don't take this trade. So for example, sometimes if I miss a good setup, I'll have a lot of FOMO and then I'll take a worse setup later on. So what do I do? Knowing how I'm going to feel, I'll trade that setup even, even if I'm not fully confident in it, just with smaller size so I don't have that FOMO um, that I would have had. So that's a really, really nice thing as you become a better trader, just being more self-aware of your own personalities, your own emotions and how you react to things. Um, definitely makes a huge difference. Now, that was AGRX. Now let's look at these other two tickers which performed much worse, but I actually made more money on them. And I think that's a little bit baffling here, uh, but just goes to show that psych, uh, your kind of mental state um, is so, so important when it comes to day trading. So we have KZR, which let's go to the daily really fast here, just get a bird's eye view, kind of a rough, really rough looking uh, chart here. Big resistance around 11 uh, dollars, but high relative volume, okay. So that's nice. Biotech, 60 million shares outstanding. 600 million market cap, that's pretty high. With some catalyst pumping out, I didn't really look into these so much, but uh, let's dive into the five minute um, down here a little bit more. Okay, so we had a nice gap consolidation and there is no go yet, but we're uh, approaching big support here at around $10. Um, I traded this one on a nice kind of chill front side move here. Um, pop, yeah, this one didn't have good resolution. I sold right away. Um, tried it again here. This one didn't really work out so well. And then I finally got this move. I bought high here, um, sold into that pop, bought the pullback, and then um, actually bought this pullback and then sold again on the pop. Um, and then luckily I didn't get stuck in this flush. So KZR wasn't even good ticker, but this one just kind of worked out a little bit. I was aggressive, I was quick, and I took my profits quick. And I didn't have that, um, prejudice or I didn't have that pre-conceded um, way of thinking about um, a ticker. Like with HERX, I was going into the trades nervous. I was I was trading scared. With KZR, and um, as you'll see in a second here with EVFM, I wasn't necessarily nervous. I was trading like I should be trading, um, and that made all the difference, not even um, the tickers themselves. So let's just go to EVFM. You'll see kind of this ticker is all over the place. Um, daily chart down here on the right, um, you'll see very, very nasty, big sell off. Now it's, uh, you know, had a nice high relative volume pop yesterday. Now it's trying again a little bit more today, but it's not 
really able to move so much higher today, but it's holding its highs. So that's really good. And just really fast here, let's look at the st um, stats. Pharmaceutical, 35 million shares outstanding, 45 million market cap with you know a bunch of catalysts pumping out here. So, okay, kind of all very similar tickers in that regard. And um, although this one, much lower market cap um, as the other ticker, um, KZR, that was a kind of a high market cap. So coming in on the five minute, you'll actually see here the five minutes very really choppy. I did trade the one minute kind of aggressively. I was buying here into the breakout, but just very small size. I bought higher and then I sold everything in that spike. So that was pretty nice. At the market open, I actually bought this move here as a pullback. It spiked up, I sold and I avoided a flush. So really with EVFM, and uh, KZR, I was just you know getting aggressive and I got kind of lucky that I avoided these two flushes as opposed to EVFM where I got stuck in the flush originally, it messed me up, or no, not EVFM, AGRX, I got stuck in that initial um, flush and it just messed me up and I messed you know, kind of the rest of the trading up a little bit on it. Really stressful when it happens. I, I even knew it was happening today and I tried so hard to just you know, flip my brain around, be like, Alex, just get aggressive on it. It's a good setup, but um, I, I don't know what it is. I think it's like a mix of like end of the month, mix of having a max loss day yesterday, mix of being, you know, AGRX, having, you know, it's got getting stuck in two flushes on this one. So sometimes you just get a little bit defensive. And I think that's really what happened today. My overall P&L for the last, um, for this day trading strategy, which is just about two years now, is pretty nice. And we're just about at the $120,000 mark. We are so close to breaking that mark. And, um, I didn't even know, I haven't even been looking at this chart. I wanted to show it to you guys today just to like remind myself where I'm at, but maybe there's some psychology there too where you know I'm about to break a 10,000 uh, digit again. Um, so maybe there's some psychology there as well. I don't know, I could think about it forever, but what I've learned on days like today where you just really can't get in the flow state is it's okay. Not one day should ever really make or break you. And a day like today, I felt like, oh my God, I'm green, I should just call it. Hopefully tomorrow I can do a little bit more better trading. Hopefully Thursday I can do a little bit better trading. Friday I'm taking off. Um, so let's just, you know, end the week, end the month uh, green. And that's, I think, in addition why I was so nervous here. I just didn't want to trip over myself. So, you know, put a little bit of space between you and that big red trade or that big red day. Put that space in and then you'll forget about it and eventually you'll be back to your normal state. So for me today, the most important thing was just getting green, keeping the green, and then putting some... Um, space uh, between me and that red day. I think that's really the most important part and the lesson here for everyone, specifically myself. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you then first thing tomorrow morning. Like always, stay safe and make some awesome trades. Ciao, ciao.